This is Priyanka and I am going to deliver an easy and understandable lecture on the topic structure of our DNA. Friends, this is my first video. If you like my video and want more videos, please subscribe my channel. So let's start our topic. The topic is structure of DNA or you can also say like this double helix structure. Before going into deep in this topic, first we have to know that what is this DNA. This DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And it is a long polymeric molecule. As we all know, this DNA is the most important molecule in the living body. But why? Why this DNA is most important molecule? The reason is this DNA is a genetic material of all the organism except few viruses. What is this genetic material? This genetic material means DNA stores some character and transfer from one generation to the another generation. This DNA is the basic unit. The basic unit. Basic unit of this DNA is nucleotide. This nucleotide is made up of three components. The three components are sugar, nitrogenous bases and the last one is phosphate. First, we will discuss about this sugar component. There are two types of pentose sugars are present in nucleic acid. The two types are the first one is ribose sugar and the second one is deoxyribose sugar. Ribose sugar, it is found in RNA and deoxyribose sugar is found in DNA. DNA stands for ribonucleic acid and DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. What is the difference between this DNA and RNA? The difference is going to, I am telling you, Ribose sugar, it is a 5 carbon monosaccharide with hydroxyl group on each carbon. Deoxyribose sugar, it is also a 5 carbon monosaccharide. But lacking 
वर ऑक्सीजन वन ऑक्सीजन एट अप एट सेकेंड पोजिशन सो द ओनली डिफरेंस इज दिस हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट इन ईच कार्बन ऑफ द आर एन ए राइगो शुगर इन डी ऑक्सी राइगो शुगर एट सेकेंड पोजिशन वन ऑक्सीजन एटम इज लैकिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस राइगो शुगर इज This is a pantose ring, sugar, pantose sugar. At each carbon, hydroxyl group is present. This is ribose sugar. and the structure of deoxy ribose sugar is it is also five carbon monosaccharide but it lacking one oxygen atom at second position this is first this is second lacking oxygen here remaining all the things are same this is deoxy ribose sugar this is rna structure of the ribose sugar this is the deoxy ribose sugar structure now the second one is nitrogenous bases nitrogenous bases are heterocyclic nitrogenous bases are planar and they are relatively water insoluble aromatic molecule there are two type of nitrogen bases in both dna and rna these two types are purines and the another one is pyrimidines purines two different nitrogen bases with the purine ring are found in dna the two common purine bases found in dna as well as rna are adenine and guanine and the pyrimidine the major two pyrimidine bases found in dna are thymine and the another one is cytosine in rna in place of thymine uracil is present except all the things are same the structure of this purines and pyrimidines now i am going to tell you the structure of adenine this is the structure of adenine now guanine the structure of guanine is like this this is the structure of guanine now the structure of pyrimidines are first thymine this is the 
the structure of thymine. The next one is uracil. Structure of uracil. This is the structure of uracil. Now cytosine. This is the structure of cytosine. This is the structure of cytosine. And the third component is phosphate. This is the sugar. And from here, this phosphate is present. This is a phosphate group which is present in DNA structure. Now, the sugar and nitrogen both bases and phosphate. They all form a bond. What are that form? These forms are like sugar and nitrogen bases. They join and form nucleoside. And the bond between this sugar and nitrogen bases is Known as glycosidic bond. Next, sugar, nitrogen bases, and phosphate group. They join and form nucleotide. And the bond between the sugar and phosphate is phosphodiester bond. There is a small trick I am using to learn this bond is like sugar means any sugar like glucose. Glucose, sugar glucose, glucose means glycosidic bond. And for phosphodiester, phosphodiester P, P for phosphate. Phosphodiester bond. Sugar plus nitrogen base, they bonded with glycosidic bond. And sugar plus phosphate form, nucle form a bond called phosphodiester bond. Now I am giving you one example to you. ATP. ATP means? Erythrocyte triphosphate. It is also referred as energy currency of life. Now I am going to draw the structure of this ATP. First, sugar molecule. This is our sugar molecule. And at first position, Nitrogenous bases are present.
and the phosphate group. This is phosphate group. The bond between sugar and nitrogen bases is glycosidic bond and the bond between phosphate and sugar is phosphodiester bond. Now I am going to tell you the structure of DNA. This DNA structure was proposed by Watson in Greek. In 1953, before this, Rosaline Franklin and Wilkins, they perform an experiment, they perform X-ray crystallography and they suggested that the DNA is long thread-like structure and they also so that the molecule to be helical. So DNA was proposed by the double helical structure of a DNA was proposed by the Watson and Crick in 1958. Before this, Rosener and Franklin give the clue to this Watson and Crick. And the second clue. The second clue available to Watson and Greg which come from the work of Arvin Chargaff Arvin Chargaff Chargaff established an empirical rule which is known by his name only Chargaff Lure What is this Chagall rule? This rule is the total amount of pyramidal nucleotide always equal to total amount of purine nucleotide. The total amount of thymine always equal to amount of adenine but the amount of Adenine plus thymine is not necessary equal to amount of guanine plus cytosine. This ratio varies among different organisms. Now, I am going to tell you about the important features of double standard DNA. The first one is the double helical structure comprises two polynucleotides. Okay, the two polynucleotide chain are twisted 
located around each other on a common axis. What is the meaning of this polynucleotide means? This is the structure of DNA. This is a one polynucleotide chain and this is the another polynucleotide chain. They both are twisted around each other. They are both are twisted around each other on a common axis. This is the important feature of this double helical structure. And another one is DNA is a right-handed double helix. The two strands, these two strands chains are run anti-parallel. That is one is run from the 5 dash to 3 dash direction while the another one in 3 dash to 5 dash direction. These two strands run anti-parallel and these two strands are run anti-parallel that is one strand run in 5 dash to 3 dash direction and the another one run from 3 dash to 5 dash direction means this is a 5 dash it run 5 dash to 5 dash to 3 dash and uh, uh, sorry this 5 dash to 3 dash and this 3 dash to 5 dash yeah 5 dash to 3 dash and 3 dash to 5 dash. Wait a second, wait a second. 5 dash to 3 dash and 3 dash to this 5 dash, 3 dash, 5 dash and 3 dash. Yeah, this one is correct. Then the two polynucleotide chains are not identical but they are complementary to each other why they are complementary to each other they are complementary to each other due to the base pairing okay then these two strands, two strands, they are held together by hydrogen bond. This hydrogen bond form between purines and pyrimidines only. Like this adenine pair with thymine and guanine pair with cytosine. A pair with thymine, adenine pair with thymine, it has two hydrogen bonds. And guanine pair with cytosine, it has three hydrogen bonds. And the guanine and cytosine pair is stronger than adenine and thymine pair okay now what are the distance between the adjacent base pair we'll discuss now the distance between two 
yeah the distance between see like this the distance between adjacent base pair is 3.4 angstrom and each turn of helix is 34 angstrom unit with 10 pairs of nucleotide this is the structure of our dna okay in this adenine is paired with thymine guanine is paired with cytosine again cytosine paired with thymine uh, cytosine paired with guanine thymine paired with adenine adenine paired with thymine thymine paired with adenine like this these nitrogen spaces are present in it now what i say the distance between two adjacent base pair the distance between adjacent pair is 3.4 angstrom and each turn of helix means each turn of helix is about 34 angstrom okay this is the nitrogen bases and this is the polynucleotide chain now this dna structure has two groups two different groups first one minor group and another one is major groups this is the major group and this one is the minor group the genetic information residue one of any two strand is known as tamper strand or sense strand the opposite strand is anti sense strand genetic information in tamper strand and it is also known as sense stem and opposite to this is anti sense stem okay and the sugar and phosphate are the backbone a drawing but this is the two polynucleotide and this polynucleotide this made up of this this i'm telling about this sugar and phosphate and nitrogenous bases like here thymine guanine cytosine adenine thymine cytosine cytosine this thymine pair with adenine and guanine pair with cytosine then again cytosine pair with guanine adenine pair with thymine and this thymine is pair with adenine cytosine pair with the guanine like this the sugar and phosphate is the backbone and this is the nitrogenous base okay now and and wait 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 this is the hydrogen bonds which is present in between the nitrogenous bases now i am drawing the structure of the dna long polynucleotide dna the sugar molecule and the nitrogenous bases
Here also the nitrogen bases like cytosine pair with the guanine and here adenine pair with thymine and here three dish and OH. Here also the sugar here OH third prime here phosphate group is present. This is cytosine pair with guanine. Here phosphate group. This. Ah, oh, no, this one. And here phosphate group. This is the 5 dash end. This is the 3 dash end. 3 dash hydroxylate. This is a 5 dash phosphate. This is a sugar molecule. This is also sugar, 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 sugar. This is the phosphate. And these are the nitrogenous bases. So, this is the structure of DNA. Like this, continue, this chain is continue going on. Thank you for watching my video.